guess two things. So you brought up the 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 clinical implications. So the imaging kind of gets at the pathophysiologic implications. And, you know, I should also hedge our findings. You know, this is, there's limitations, right? Our findings might not apply outside of a headache clinic with less stringent forms of lateralized headache during migraine. But if subsequent studies confirm our findings that left migraine uh, might be a more severe phenotype, in some people, or on average, then there are clinical implications. So for acute treatment, we don't know if left and right headache and migraine respond the same way to attacks. And so that's an unanswered question that I think future studies, it might be useful in uh, trial in clinical trials of acute treatments to ask patients the location of their headache. For prevention, uh, there's there's also important um, implications. Not just do left and right headache and migraine respond differently to prevention, but also for clinical trial enrollment. So it was a pretty sizable effect of a difference in headache days between left and right migraine. And so if in a clinical trial, people, um, the enrollment was, uh, favoring either one headache laterality over the other, then that could throw off the, um, create a confounding variable in the outcomes and it could confuse the results of their finding. So those are some of the clinical implications.